where does Max Holloway go from here? Max Holloway is in a very weird spot. This past weekend, Max Holloway took out Korean Zombie with a rare one-punch KO from Max with a right hand that slipped him immediately. All credit though to the Korean Zombie for coming out and showing out in his last fight and also having one of the best and most emotional send-offs in UFC history. But if we go back to Max, these types of featherweight performances Damn, you tapped him in the ear. Always remind us fans of the bigger question when it comes to Max Holloway. How does he get gold again? Max is in a very weird position in that I think he's the only guy that could be champion right now based on the contenders he's beaten and his resume if it wasn't for this one guy. I saw this visual recently and it just really shows the crazy, unbelievable dominance Max has had over the featherweight division and how he could easily be champion right now had it not been for Volkanovski. So after every time Max beats another featherweight dominantly, we have to ask where does Max go from here? In today's video, we're going to explore some suggested paths for Max Holloway and which ones can lead Max back to being champion. So firstly, let's get the elephant out of the room and talk about fighting Volk for the fourth time. That seems like the knee-jerk reaction when talking about Max Holloway getting the belt back, but like most, I don't think this fight will shape up to anything different from the last fight. I don't think I have to remind you guys, but Max got cooked in their last fight, and it seemed like Volk was on a completely different level compared to Max, despite Max Holloway being on a completely different level. He punched him dead in his nose. It looked like he punched him in the nose, though. It looks like he punched him dead in the nose. Double. rest of the featherweights and i don't think much has changed from that fight up until now to garner another fight with volkanovsky even though max continued his dominance against other featherweights like up-and-comer arnold allen and the aforementioned legend the korean zombie volk has also went on to have an insanely competitive fight with islam makachev in a heavier weight class and destroyed yair rodriguez with relative ease Basically what I'm saying is, even if Max hasn't proved since their last fight, Volk has shown a completely different level despite taking a loss since his last fight with Max. So all in all, it seems like another fight with Volkanovski is definitely not the way Max Holloway should try to get the belt back. So let's cross out a fourth fight with Volkanovski. Now let's get into a very interesting move for Max Holloway, which is to move up to 155 and compete for the belt there. Now my first reaction to this move, which also seems like a very popular move by you guys, was that this was not going to work. Max has already fought at 155 before against Dustin Poirier, and it seems like there is a huge power difference between 145 and 155 despite only a 10 pound difference. Even though both guys were landing clean in this fight, I remember Dustin having much more of an effect with his shots on Max when compared to Max landing on Dustin. I feel like when guys like Dustin Poirier or even Volkanovski have that real 155 power, it completely shuts off Max's offense. For the most part, Max really relies on walking down his opponents and being able to take their power to land like 20 of his strikes. But when strikers with great power like Dustin and Volk are able to stop Max in his tracks whenever he starts up his offense, the entire fight is just shut down for Max. And sure, it was just one fight at 155, but again, I don't think Max can handle the power of guys like Justin Gaethje, Charles Oliveira, or Benio Dariush, and they would all stop Max from gaining momentum when it comes to the striking. But one very interesting matchup I saw in the comments of my poll was against Rafael Fiziev. After the Justin Gaethje fight, some fans were suggesting Fiziev move down to 145 considering he's always been a relatively smaller 155er and showed he couldn't keep up with Justin's power in that fight. A fight against Fiziev would be fireworks and I think Max could manage Fiziev's power at least compared to the other guys at 155, and I think the striking prowess of these two would easily create a fight of the year contender, but even if Max wins against Fiziev, what's next? We'd circle back to the same problem. Max would have to face one of the 155 contenders and we would go back to Max not being able to handle the power of those guys. Another potential problem with a move to 155 is that Volk, in my opinion after his first fight against Islam, has a real shot at being champ at lightweight. So if Volk becomes champ at 155, we're back to the original problem we started with. So in summary, no, I don't think Max should move up to 155. 
even though fights against guys like Fazeev would be insane and really fun in the long run, I don't think Max would succeed in this division and certainly not on a championship level. So if we stay here at featherweight at 145, a matchup against Ilya Taporia was actually my first choice for Max Holloway's next fight. Ilya has looked really good in his last fights, especially in his beatdown of Josh Emmett, and is still undefeated. He is also the only top 5 contender in the featherweight division that Max hasn't already beat. This would be one of those classic fights between the young up and coming contender and the former champion slash longtime gatekeeper of the division. And though most of the time the gatekeeper remains on top, sometimes the up and comer shocks the world and sets up a title shot in the near future. In this case though, I would still probably bet the house on Max Holloway continuing to be the gatekeeper if the two were to square off right now. As good as I think Ilya is, and he's definitely looked great early in his undefeated career, I think he still is a level below championship material and against a seasoned vet like Max will lose in the striking department and won't be able to take Max down. And most importantly, I think Ilya and his camp knows this too. This is going to be a hard fight for Ilya Toporia to take, and I think it's just way too early to take a leap like this, so I think the plan for Ilya would be to take on another contender instead of Max right now. So even though Ilya Toporia would be a great win for Max, and another contender win to prove he's still on top of the featherweight division outside of Volk, the only negative with this move is that it won't likely happen. Another popular move and matchup I saw in the comments of this poll was fighting Aljamain Sterling. For a while now, Aljo has been saying he was going to go up to 145, and considering he's pretty goddamn big for 135, this definitely seems like a good move for Aljo. I ain't gonna eat while I'm big, bro. Matt Brolic, too. Joe. This definitely reminds me of the Alex Perea situation in which he lost the belt and being that he was so big for his weight class, moved up to fight the former champ in the next division. So again, for Aljo, I think this is the correct move for him and can only open up more opportunities, but is this a good move for Max? Aljamain Sterling on paper would be a really good win for Max Holloway. Aljamain Sterling is a former champion who had a very underrated run at 135 and is in contention for being one of the best 135 pounders of all time. But that's on paper. In reality, I'm not too sure this is a good enough win specifically for Max. I know Aljamain Sterling provides a different type of challenge for Max Holloway as he is a grappler and Max hasn't faced a grappler in a very long time. But in my opinion, I don't know if I'm the only one who thinks this, but I think Max should dominate Aljamain Sterling. He's obviously the much better striker and is way too big and way too good for Aljo to take down. Max has Aljo on all fronts and considering this mismatch, I don't think it would change Max's rankings in the featherweight division or make much of a statement as much as getting a win over a young rising star in the featherweight division like Ilya Toporia. So even though it's a good move for Aljamain to move up to 145 and make sense in terms of his career and size, I don't think it's the best move for Max to face Aljamain. So now we finally get to what I think is the best move for Max, and it's just to simply wait out Volkanovski. Because Max Holloway entered the UFC at such a young age and had his championship reign at also such a young age, people forget that Max is only 31 years old. With Volkan- Damn, he's 31, that's still young, dog. That's fake, still young. Volkanovski being 34. And in a couple years, probably ending his prime, I think Volk will continue to pursue a career in 155. He has completely cleaned out 145, and there's literally nothing left to prove in that weight class with three wins over Max Holloway, a win over Jose Aldo, and being undefeated in that division in the UFC. With a closing window on his prime, I'm thinking Volkanovski will continue to pursue gold at 155, and again, has a solid shot at doing so with a defeat over Islam Makachev. In that time, I think Volk will vacate the belt, giving Max the shot at the belt again against some contender in the division and probably win. And again, with Max being 31, he probably has a good 3-4 to four years to wait it out and let Volk continue his career at 155 and continue to compete at a high level at 145 and possibly become champ. But the one take I kind of don't agree with is that Max Holloway is essentially done. He has no shot at becoming a champ again, and his career is essentially over. Sure, he's taken a lot of damage in his fights, but he still performs at a very high level, and I still don't think that chin's gonna crack anytime soon. But who knows, maybe 
he takes a bad loss like Tony Ferguson did, and it goes all downhill from there. But anyways, what do you guys think about Max Holloway and the situation he's in? So yeah, bro. Um, yeah, that was that was that was the vid, bro. Um, so yeah, bro. Like, um, I never heard of Max Holloway before. I never like check up, check up on him and all that. Like, I don't. I'm not tuned into the UFC like that. You feel me? So yeah, but if y'all are tuned into the UFC, let me know what is your favorite. Max Holloway fight. Alright, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know the vibes. We're just checking out you are.